What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to subtract polynomials and combine like terms, all right? So as you can see here, we have the problem uh, in parentheses, 6n squared minus 9n minus three, and then minus this other thing in parentheses, 2n squared plus n minus five, all right? So the first thing you're gonna do is actually drop the parentheses. So starting here, we're gonna have 6n squared minus 9n minus three, and then here, we're gonna do two, two things, actually. We're gonna drop the parentheses, but we're also going to change the sign on all of these terms, okay? So as you can see, we have a positive 2n squared right here, right? So then it's gonna turn into negative 2n squared, okay? Here, we have a positive n. So down here, it's gonna become negative n. And then here, we have a negative five. So down here, it's gonna turn into positive five, okay? And the reason we do that is because, well, you see this minus sign right here, right? So what we're actually doing is distributing it into uh, this set of parentheses. So we're distributing this minus sign to this first term, to the second term, and to the third term. Because this minus sign, it's really like there's a minus one out here, okay? So if you take negative one and multiply it by two n squared, you're gonna get negative 2n squared, right? If you multiply negative one times n, you're gonna get negative n. And then lastly, negative one times negative five is positive five, right? So that's why the shortcut way is literally just make sure you change all the signs when you drop the parentheses, okay? That's super important, okay? Now, the next thing you're gonna do is combine like terms. So if you want, you can actually move the terms around so they're sitting next to they're like terms. So for example, here we have 6n squared, right? So which one of these terms up here can we combine with 6n squared? Well, that would be this negative 2n squared, right? So I'm gonna move that whole thing right here, negative 2n squared, okay? So we're done with 6n squared and negative 2n squared. Next, we have negative 9n, right? So negative 9n. So out of the remaining terms, which one can we combine with negative 9n? Well, that would be negative n, right? So we'll write that one next. Okay, so done with negative n, done with negative 9n. And then lastly, we have negative three and positive five, right? The numbers, the numbers always go at the end. So negative three plus five. Okay, so now it's a little easier to see what we're gonna be combining, right? So let's start here on the left. So six n squared minus two n squared. Well, six, minus two is equal to four, right? And since we have an n squared here and an n squared here, you just keep the n squared, okay? Now coming over here, we have a negative nine minus n or one n, right? So what's negative nine minus one? Well, that would be negative 10, right? And then since we have an n here and an n here, you just keep the n, okay? And then lastly, we have negative three plus five which is equal to positive two. Okay, so is there anything else we can combine together? No, uh, because you might be seeing, well, we have an N here and an N here, can we combine those? The answer would be no, because in order to combine like terms, they have to have the same variable, which they do right here, right? They're, they both have Ns, but they also have to have the same exponent, which they don't, right? This one has a two, this one has a one. So you cannot combine those, all right? So again, the most simplified answer right here would be 4n squared minus 10n plus two. So there's your answer. Okay, and last thing I wanna mention is when you do write your answers, make sure they are in standard form. So that just means your exponents are listed from biggest to smallest. So you can see we already did that, right? Cause this term right here has a two this term right here technically has a one right there, and then the numbers don't have anything, that's why they go at the end, okay? Whew. Okay, take a breath. Not you, me, talking too much. All right, let's do one more example. All right, so here you can see in parentheses, we have 10s cubed minus 20s, and then minus these set of parentheses, which has negative five s to the fourth plus s minus eight. All right, so again, first step, kind of first two steps, is gonna be dropping the parentheses 
and also changing all of these signs, right? So this is going to look like 10 s cubed minus 20 s. And then here, we're just going to change the signs. Okay, so negative 5 s to the fourth turns into positive 5 s to the fourth. Then we have po uh, positive s, so that turns into minus s. And then negative 8 turns into positive 8. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is combine like terms. Okay, so let's start here. We, so we have 10 s cubed. Do we have anything that has an s cubed in it? Uh, well, no, we don't actually. So done with that term. So then let's just go to the next one. So here we have minus 20 s. Okay, do we have anything that just has an s? Yes, we have this minus s, right? So then bring down the minus s. So we're done with those terms right there. Next, we have this plus 5s to the fourth. And that's the only term that has an s to the fourth, right? So done with that one. So then lastly, we have this plus 8. Okay, so now combining like terms, uh, this 10s cubed, that's the only one. Here we have negative 20s minus s, and this s doesn't have a coefficient, so there's basically a 1 right there. So negative 20 minus 1 is equal to negative 21, right? And then this has an s, this has an s, so you just keep the s. Next, we have these two terms that don't have anything either, right? So plus 5s to the fourth plus 8. Okay, now this is almost our answer. Again, the last thing we have to do is write this in standard form. So again, you're going to list your terms from the biggest exponent to the smallest exponent. Okay, so here the term with the biggest exponent is this positive 5s to the fourth, right? So that's what goes first. Positive 5s to the fourth. Next, we have this positive 10s cubed. So plus 10s cubed. Then we have this minus 21s, minus 21s, and lastly, plus 8. Okay, so all your babies are combined, everything's simplified, listed in standard form, so this is your answer. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful, so definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.